after government has introduced uh, community day center school, in which pupils had to travel from their homes and go back to their homes at the same time, uh, it became so apparent that uh, most of the people from the rural areas were not being selected to boarding school. So as a result, uh, in Bende here, just like other areas, people saw the need of actually building community day center schools within their areas, so that at least people would go to schools that would be uh, close to their home. Now, in 2003, uh, we actually saw the need that we should do something to have our own school. And indeed, uh, we started working on our school after we had made some of the from the Ministry of Education. We went there because of uh, lack of uh, secondary schools here in our area. Students have no chance of going to boarding secondary schools. The construction of a community day secondary school in this area will be very, very important and it's a warmly welcomed idea. Currently, students are walking a distance of 13.5 kilometers to the nearest community day secondary school. This results into them being very, very tired. At the same time, they fail to concentrate on their studies and evening afternoon shifts. Hence, poor performance academically, at the same time, there is high drop rate of learners continuing with education. We have uh, very many people who may not go anywhere if the school is not there. Uh, Bembe as an area has got a lot of villages, up to about 50. So you can imagine, out of the 50 villages, we have several people who may not have any access to secondary education if this school is not put in place. Right now, some of the challenges that we are facing are those that can still manage to go to distant center schools. You find that the situation is worse, particularly with the girls who end up getting pregnant because they are covering long distances to school and so they have a lot of time to associate with the boys and in the process they end up becoming pregnant and still to continue with the school. The boys, you see, the situation becomes that they start drinking every and they fail to concentrate on school. So definitely we see that there is a very high drop rate as regards the secondary school education. So we feel this project will be of vital importance to the community because our people are going to benefit from that one. The building of a community day secondary school in this area will boost and improve quality of education to our children. It's not only that, when girls come back to school tired, they even fail to read, at times go back to their schools. The project was a felt need. We unanimously joined hands, started working very hard through self-help contributions and self-help participation in development activities, and we managed to build a school block, which of course, since there was no funding from anywhere, took us almost uh, four to five years to build. And as of now, we are uh, very lucky in the sense that the Ministry of Education officials have confirmed to us to say, now, after completion of the project, the school is uh, authorized to, to begin. Here at Bembe, we have uh, constructed one school block with two rooms, building a roof on our teacher's house as it needs to complete. Also, we have started preparing toilets and teacher's office, where we will focus our efforts after finishing the house. Our efforts to establish a secondary school here in Bembe have been organized by our school committee. We have not yet found uh, funding from anywhere yet, but we are still committed such that we have sat down and come up with a number of places there in a week. Uh, that is the Wednesday and the Thursday. People are coming in their large numbers. As I'm talking now, we are almost uh, during the time when people are busy working in the fields, planting their, uh, uh, planting their different crops. But all the same, since the need is so felt that people cannot do without, just you coming, that you living the 
After waking their fields, they still feel they have come, so they're still coming to work on the project. Yeah, the Bembe community is totally eager to complete this project. And uh, if we can complete this project, we hope that uh, everything can be going smoothly and uh, our children can be on better position. And while it is very difficult to gather the necessary funds, the Bembe community is strongly committed to this project and is proud to work as hard as possible to meet our goal of educating our children. And then more so, uh, the area is also suffering from the issues of uh, environmental degradation. So we know it is only somebody who has gone to school that can appreciate the importance of caring or preserving uh, environmental aspects. So this project will also enable us to take a leading role in how best we can preserve our natural resources. Malawi is facing a great challenge in terms of uh, land degradation, deforestation. So this project will act as an institute where the community will learn better methods of improving their environment. At the same time, they will be in a position to have this environment very equitable and profitable to boys and girls who wish to go on with their education. So. We really welcome this idea and we are ready to work looking forward to the completion of it. The goodness of having a community secondary school is that if we can have a, second, a community secondary school very near, means our children will get educated as we all know that education is a life. No education, no life. And to avoid our children not to stop their school, it's better to operate or to open a secondary school within the mentioning primary schools. This will encourage our children to get educated. And the importance is that if the area have more education people, means development in the area can be higher. As a parent, I feel this will be wonderful to our kids because some of the kids are very young. For example, at the age of 13, they are already at the same school. So this will help them travel less distance. For instance, some of them move from here to Chirambo, which is very, very far, almost 18 kilometers. In addition, it will be very easy for a parent to assist that child with other work, for example, homework and the like. So this project will really benefit us. Currently, I should mention it to say that uh, the zone is having more than nine primary schools. In this zone, this secondary school will benefit these primary schools. So most of the kids, around 2,300, will benefit from this project. In a few years to come, many more children will be educated using this community day secondary school. So we really appreciate the establishment of this project. As parents, we are very, very happy and we are looking forward to it being completed.